Hi everybody, David Merwine here with this month's Frequently Asked Question. For the month of September, we are going to be answering the question, what is allowed in terms of cremation in the eyes of the church? So if you joined us for our July webinar, uh, we discussed this topic in depth. Uh, and if you want to uh, check that out, I will link that below uh, here in the newsletter. However, um, since then, uh, it seems we've gotten even more questions around cremation and what's allowed, uh, what should be done with cremated remains and all of that. So we're going to do a quick recap of that here today uh, on, uh, on our newsletter FAQ. Okay, so first and foremost, cremation is allowed in the eyes of the church and has been since Vatican II. Uh, July 5th, 1963, I believe is the date in which cremation officially became allowed in the eyes of the church and cremated remains were allowed to receive funeral and committal rites, which they previously were not allowed to. Okay, so that's kind of first and foremost. Now, another question that we get all the time is what should I do with cremated remains? So first and foremost, uh, when it comes to that topic, we want to make sure that we're keeping cremated remains together. Okay, so in 2016, Pope Francis issued additional instructions uh, to reinforce uh, cremation uh, being allowed, right? So still allowed. However, we want to make sure that we're not splitting cremated remains. So we're not taking the cremated remains and splitting them among family members and, and keepsake or companion urns or anything like that. We also want to make sure we're not scattering cremated remains, right? So not at, you know, grandpa's favorite cabin or at the beach where, you know, mom loved to be. Uh, none of that is permitted under the those guidelines. Uh, and also turning uh, any cremated remains into jewelry, right? That's a, a kind of a popular uh, fad or trend, if you will, um, that is not allowed in the eyes of the church. Again, with the idea that the human body is a temple of the Holy Spirit uh, in, in life and in death, we belong to the Lord. So we want to make sure that our body, um, even though it is in a different form, um, is remaining together, okay, and is being interred in a Catholic cemetery. So that's kind of also a key portion, right? We don't want to keep cremated remains at home uh, for several reasons. The main reason being is a lot of times we see cremated remains end up being forgotten about, right? If they could be, um, you know, in a closet, in storage, uh, even if they're on a mantelpiece, the person that is a caretaker for that, there's no permanent place for those cremated remains. So if something were to happen to that person, um, and there was unknown that there were cremated remains somewhere in a closet or somewhere, they could be accidentally disposed of. And we, we don't want that to happen. So it's very important that, you know, again, in line with the sanctity and the dignity of the body, we don't want to keep cremated remains at home. Also, to reinforce that a little bit and to give some perspective to it, the whole point, uh, uh, the whole point, not the whole point, but a main point of having a place where people can come and be at the cemetery for prayer, for reflection, for repose, for any of that, um, is to be outside of their normal day-to-day -day life, right? So to have a place that they can come, and not just them, but anybody that knew the deceased, right? If we're keeping those cremated remains at home, only the person that has those cremated remains essentially has access to remember and reflect and pray over uh, the, the cremated remains, right? Um, if we have a place like your local Catholic cemetery, um, where they are prayed for and remembered uh, constantly uh, by the church, by the church itself, by the cemetery itself, uh, but also a place for friends and other family members to come and gather and be and reflect and grieve, right? So it's an opportunity for everybody to have a chance to have a place to go that's outside of their life. So again, very important when it comes to cremated remains. Interment in a Catholic cemetery is number one. Uh, and number two uh, is not scattering, not splitting, not turning into jewelry. Uh, keeping those cremated remains together is another important piece of that. But again, cremation is allowed. We just want to make sure we're following those guidelines. Okay. If you have any additional questions, you are always welcome to reach out to us at Holy Cross Catholic Cemetery or any of our other cemeteries. Um, you can find our information on our website, www.holycrosscemeteries.com. Again, all that's linked down below as well for you. Um, call and speak to one of our advisors if you have any questions. And remember, if you have any additional questions that you'd like to see featured uh, in these uh, monthly FAQs, please feel free to use that link down below to submit a question. Again, I'm David Merwine. Thank you for checking out our September edition of our newsletter. And God bless.